Congressman Sadig, and we're going to talk about the bankers getting this H1N1 flu vaccine before kids. What do you think? I think it's an outrage. Uh, the thing that was supposed to be unique about America was that it would be a meritocracy. That is to say, issues would be decided on their merits. So in this instance, you'd say, since it's younger children, not older people, who are more susceptible to dire consequences from this disease, and indeed it's been younger children uh, to children that have died uh, from this flu, it is an outrage. Uh, that uh, what appears to have, ha have happened has happened, and that is that uh, executives uh, on Wall Street or business people uh, who obviously are not children, not the most susceptible, have gotten the vaccine while there are hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of younger Americans more susceptible to the disease and more likely to die from it if they're not treated. There is no moral justification to that. It's an outrage. Uh, I would certainly agree it needs to be investigated, and I compliment, uh, uh, I believe, the chairman of the House Subcommittee on Health and uh, uh, Commerce and Energy is already announced an investigation. If this was a bureaucratic screw-up, uh, then it should never happen again and things should be put in place to assure it never happens again. If this was corruption, where somebody in a position of power got these vaccines, uh, then there ought to be criminal prosecutions. This is supposed to be a nation where we decide issues on their merits. Uh, and merits should prevail, not power or position uh, or influence. I I'm outraged. Well, I'll tell you, Congressman, uh, if we're talking about merits after these folks rake to silver for billions or even trillions of dollars, I think the merits might merit them being injected with the H1N1 virus, <laughs> let alone getting the vaccine. Well, Thanks I can't very call much. For that. Yeah.